Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. So today I have another exclusive Robot Spirits figure. This one also hails from the MSV line, like many of the figures I've been buying lately. And this one's the YMS-09D DOM Tropical Test Type Version Anime. Now within the MSV line, there's only a couple DOMs, or there's three of them, I believe. And they're all really neat designs. One of my favorites is the prototype DOM, which for those that follow the channel have seen that I bought and reviewed and really liked. And now we get the DOM Tropical Test Type, which is based on the prototype DOM's design. So I'm really excited that we got this one here. See the box art kind of wraps around there. You have some cool stuff here in the back, some uh, images with it. We actually get effect parts, it looks like. This will be the first DOM I own that gets effect parts, so that's going to be kind of fun. And you have a nice little side profile in the bottom of the box. So quite a bit going on here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure real quick. Now that we've got the box opened up, let's go ahead and take a look at the Tropical Test Type DOM. So you can see it's in desert colors. It has a lot of the right paint effects. Now the Tropical Test Type DOM was again based on the prototype DOM and used to test arid environments, uh, tropical environments, high, mainly high heat. And so it was given to Roy Greenwood's Caracal unit in North Africa. So looking at the DOM here, this is Roy Greenwood's unit insignia. Uh, he was called the Thundercat because of his lightning bolts. Now this isn't Roy Greenwood's personal unit because his, uh, his looked a little bit different and it had 631 all over it. But this looks like they modeled it after his unit. You can see it's got the communication antenna. The backpack's a little bit different. You have a whole bunch of thrusters back there. And then you have this uh, cooling unit, which is different than the prototype DOM. And this helps with the arid environment. So let's start with the head here. You don't have a whole lot of head movement. You can manipulate the mono eye. You do want to remove this antenna. And then from there, I believe the face plate comes off. There we go. So this exposes the mono eye, and you can move it around wherever you want. I'm going to try and keep it dead center here as best I can. So you just reorient the head. There is a plastic um, piece on the face that you want to make sure that doesn't come off, go flying out of there. So you're going to go ahead and place that back on. And there we go. And you have these pipes that are connected back here as well that kind of hold everything together. You do have this chest flex right there. Arms will come out decent amount. Rotate all the way around. So it looks like they have a good amount of range right there. The hands are single ball jointed it looks like. So not a ton of movement. Front skirt armor is ball jointed. And it looks like it comes out a little bit, although I guess I just pulled the entire thing out. But they look like they're double jointed back there. There we go. And then with the legs, so it looks like this thruster piece retracts, giving a decent range of movement, and the feet as well. And you may have a little bit of toe movement there with this uh, piece in the middle actuating all of that. You do have the stage or the stand connector, and you have lots of effect part areas for thrusters. And you have six in the back. Although with some of the larger thruster pieces, you probably can't put 
all six on here. You have the heat saver storage, the bazooka storage. So you've got quite a bit here. It's a really good looking figure. The paint's really nice. You have the uh, red lining and the colors are correct. Skirt armor is kind of funky. Doesn't really want to sit exactly right. It looks like this one's hinged too. But it looks like a really nice figure. So let's let's take a look at some of the accessories that it comes with real quick. So I know I spoke earlier about this not being Roy Greenwood's personal unit because it didn't have the 631 insignias. But I managed to find this in the plastic shell, which has exactly what you need to make this the Xeon Ace Roy Greenwood's personal Dom tropical test type, which is pretty cool. And then you have a whole bunch of other like numbers and whatnot to put on there. So I, I like that they include these, although I personally don't use them. They're pretty neat. Another thing that I was really excited about is that we get a full set of hands. This is the first Dom that I've owned. This is the third Dom that I've bought. But the first one that I've owned that actually comes with a full set of hands. That's always been my complaint with the older ones. We have two different posing hands. We have gun hands right here. And we have heat saber hands that are kind of slanted right there, all on a really cool uh, brown hand holder. That's not the typical gray. So I like that they included a full set of hands so it gives you more options and it doesn't feel like they're just cheaping out. So now let's get into the weapons real quick. So you get a couple here. The standard weapon, the giant bazooka. This is the same mold as all the other ones. Uh, you do have a hard point in there for effect parts and this little back piece opens up and you get this little um, opened hatch so you can recreate the uh, kind of firing effect coming out of the back as it fires a bazooka. But otherwise it's exactly the same. This piece moves, the handle swivels, and the uh, camera swivels as well. So this is a pretty standard piece, but obviously it's very important that it's included given that this is a DOM. Another piece here is the heat saber, which in this case is all brown, which is correct. Uh, it is supposed to be brown. And like the prototype Dom, it has a blue blade. And it really looks like a beam saber blade, but it's just supposed to be an activated heat saber blade. But regardless, it looks good. It's uh, very contrasting with the brown handle, but I like this. Now in terms of storage, with the tropical test type Dom, I'm going to go ahead and switch out the blade here real quick. It actually just stores right there. So the prototype Dom stored horizontally, the standard Dom stored slanted. This one stores up and down right there. So next let's take a look at how the giant bazooka is stored. So just like the prototype Dom, you have two different storage options and they're pretty much the same same pieces as the prototype Dom and uh, for the larger one it'll actually attach here and it kinda fits in pretty snug it'll it'll move around a little bit but you'll see it snaps into place um, and it sits right here and it stores the bazooka a little higher up and then for the other piece, you'll actually whip this thing around like that. And then this one stores over here. And it'll store like that. And then on the DOM here, we're going to move the arm out of the way. It'll store onto the backpack a little bit slanted like that. And so that's that's how it'll end up looking. The other one is just it just sits a little bit higher. So you have two different options there. So for once with the DOM release, we actually get effect parts. 
So we get little smoke effects. Now these are the same ones that came with the Gundam Alex Chobham armor version. They've just been recolored to be more of a sand color to it. You can tell they're the Gundam Alexes because they have the hard points in here for the trailing smoke effects. But this one doesn't come with them. They're just simply meant for the ground. And they just get placed beneath the feet. And they end up making a really neat looking effect. So I'll show this in action in a little bit here. But next we're going to go ahead and do a comparison with the prototype DOM. So here's a quick shot of how those effect parts work. They basically just get placed at the feet. There's nothing really connecting them. They just kind of stick on down there, but they look really, really good. Uh, if you're making poses looking like the Dom is skirting around the desert on its hover jets, these little effect parts are perfect for that, so I really like that they're included. So here we have the prototype Dom along with the Dom Tropical Test Type, which is what it was developed into. Now both figures look very, very similar in terms of sculpt. You'll see that the Tropical Test Type Dom has a little bit more detail to it, like you have these little red bits, the uh, markings on the arm, and just some general detail like here in the legs, where the Prototype Dom doesn't really have much of that. It's more of a gray and black on, on a white color. The head's going to be where the main difference is. The cables run into the backpack on the Tropical Test Type Dom, where the cable runs into the head on the Prototype Dom. And of course, the Tropical Test Type has this large antenna. Now, if I can turn these guys around here, the other big difference is the backpack. The Prototype Dom has the Heat Saber stored horizontally and the Giant Bazooka stored on this side over here. The backpack also likes to fall off on this one. And you see there's just not a whole lot of detail to it. Whereas the Tropical Test Type Dom has a larger backpack with that coolant tank for helping it in tropical environments. You have some painted thrusters back here that unfortunately don't move. Your heat saber storage, which actually moves around. Um, it swivels a little bit. And that's because it kind of gets in the way of the thruster right here. So you can kind of move it out of the way if you need to. The bazooka storage is identical, but overall it looks really, really good. And they both share, like I said, the same basic sculpt, which is kind of nice. I guess it's nice for Bandai because they can rehash the same thing and then we all buy it up because it's a new figure. But otherwise, they're both very solid figures. I do like the Tropical Test Type a little bit more just because my prototype DOM unfortunately has that paint defect on the... Uh, the cable right here and then I don't like that the backpack falls off a lot on that one I even tried pulling the backpack off of this one and it just wouldn't come off so that may be just this figure how how it you know the quality control on it um, but I do like the tropical test type more I like the colors more as well so now we'll uh, continue on here to the final thoughts the Robot Spirits MSV line has given us some really neat mobile suits. I've bought just about all of them that I could possibly find, and I've liked every single one that I have. This one is no exception. It's honestly the best DOM release that I have in terms of accessories, paint, and effect parts, and it looks really, really good. You know, there's there's no issues with it. You know, I had some quality control issues with my prototype DOM. I don't have any of those here. I love the effect parts. It's simple, but it works really good. And then it comes with all the weaponry and things that it needs. All the features work the way they should. The removal of the faceplate uh, is a little, little bit difficult and kind of annoying to move the mono eye, but I understand with the design, you know, they had to make it accessible but at the same time not where you would break it after doing it 10 times so I mean it looks really really nice it looks great displayed so if you're able to pick it up for a decent price I know it's an exclusive and it's expensive but if you're able to find it for a good price absolutely pick it up because just like the prototype Dom and even my Shars Rick Dom although I had complaints about both of them they're solid releases 
this one is even better than both of those so I'd absolutely get it if I were you if you're a fan of MSV this one's one of the ones to have thank you for watching my review and I will see y'all next time